Today's instructional video will be how to boost video card performance. I recommend using an HD ATI card or an NVIDIA 8600 or better. This test system has an XFX Alpha Dog XXX edition. Uh, this video is recommended for intermediate and advanced users that know the risks of overclocking, and this is a try at your own risk video. The first thing we're going to need is Riva Tuner. Download the newest version, version 2.10, and follow the install instructions. Since I already have it, we'll just go right into the program and click Customize under Driver Settings. The default for this system is 600. You don't have to worry about adjusting the shader clock as it automatically adjusts when you adjust the core clock, and you also have to adjust the memory clock. So since I've already tested mine, I'm going to put it up to 700. As you can see, the shader clock automatically adjusts. Memory clock, I'm going to adjust to 1024. Click Apply Overclocking Settings at Startup, and click Apply. Now before we do that, I'm just going to go over a few rules of thumb. Experiment in increments of 25 when you're using core clock, and increments of 15 to 20 when using the core clock. Now what you're going to want to do is every time you change it, test it in a game. As long as the game runs fine for a few minutes, you can then clock it a little higher. Once you do get to a point where the game crashes, what you're going to want to do is go back to your previous setting that worked fine for you, and that is your threshold. So we'll click Apply. It's going to ask me a question here. Um, you can click Yes to this. Click OK. And OK. Just to verify, I have GPU-Z. You see my default 600, but I've had it boosted to 700. My bandwidth's also gone up about 10 gigabytes per second. Thanks for watching this video.